Hey everyone, Jade here and I'm back again with another video. So last week, I organized a poll asking you guys whether you knew about how to use Discord or not. And to my surprise, 65% out of 2500 people didn't know on how to actually use it and they wanted me to create a video regarding it. So here it is. This video will guide you through the basics about Discord and since most of you guys are PUBG Lite players, in the end of this video, I'll tell you about the server where daily scrims regarding PUBG Lite is hosted and several tournaments are also organized. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Now those of you who are new to my channel, please make sure to sub if you like what you see. Now let's begin. Since it's a free app and you're a gamer, I'm sure you'll be able to download and install it on your own. So once you're done and start the app for the first time, you'll need to create an account, which you can easily do so by clicking on this button. Once you're done with it, you can either create a server or join one. Creating a server is a complex task which you shouldn't care about as of now, but joining one is pretty simple. So I'll use my server which I've created to explain you everything basic. In the description box of this video, you'll find the link to my server. All you need to do is click on it and accept the invitation. As simple as that. In the similar way, you can join any other server out there using an invitational link like this. Now that you're in my server, let me explain to you about the basic layout. So here on the right hand side, you'll find the names of several people who have been allotted several roles. Like this is me, the owner, this is my mod and these are my friends. So basically on the right, you can see everyone who is online and using Discord as of now. If you're curious on how one is supposed to get roles, then let me tell you that some of the roles are given automatically, like the Jade Army role here, some you can choose which I'll explain later in this video, and some that can only be given by the owner or the mods like the friends role. Now from here itself, you can click on any person's logo to find more info about him and also send him direct messages or a friend request. Now on the left, you'll find the different servers you have joined and notifications of messages that you have received from different people. You can visit any server or read any message by just clicking on its logo. Simple, isn't it? Okay, so now that you know about the layout, let's talk about several basic features of a server. So on the top over here, you'll find the server's name and below it, you can see the server stats. Now this is a rules channel and you'll find this in almost every server that you join. Mine are pretty simple, but some servers might have restrictions on several things. So make sure to read it carefully after joining any server. Below it is the announcements channel where I announce about any changes or additions that I've made to the server, basically keeping you guys updated. Just below it is the newest addition to our server, the game role selection channel. Remember when I said that there are some roles which one can select whether they want it or not? Well this is an example of that. So from here you can select the games that you basically play by reacting on the emoji of that specific game. And doing this will unlock channels specifically for those games. So if you play PUBG Lite, react on the PUBG Lite emoji and all the channels regarding it will get unlocked. If you play more than one game, you can react on multiple emojis too. Basically there are two kinds of channels, voice channels also known as VCs and text channels. A text channel is something which is very similar to a WhatsApp group, where people are having conversations regarding several different topics. And a voice channel is where people join along with other people to have conversation while playing games or while discussing over something. VCs are the best part of the Discord servers, and to everyone who is looking for teammates while playing, I'll recommend you to join the VC of your specific game while playing it so that others can know that you are playing and looking for teammates. Once you are in a VC, you can mute your headphone or your mic or both if you want. Apart from all of these, there are other channels like Chicken Dinner where people can submit the screenshot of the Chicken Dinner page, you can also listen to songs together or go through several funny memes or even promote your YouTube videos in wannabe streamers channel. So basically, there are a large number of things that you can do using Discord, and the best part is to explore it all yourselves. Now those of you who are looking forward to play tournaments and scrims of PUBG Lite, there is a server by the name of IBG aka Indian Battlegrounds which organizes daily scrims for PUBG Lite players. So I'll leave the links to all of those servers down in the description box, so after installing Discord, you can click on the links to join them. Also check out the Level 0 eSports server which as you already know are my channel sponsors. So this was it for today. Do let me know whether this video was helpful for you or not. If it was, then please show your support by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. So I'll see you guys in my next live stream on Thursday. Till then, Jade out.